Well, hello, everybody. It is Thirsty Thursday, and I woke up with a nasty cold, which I am totes blaming my kids for. Um, yeah, kids are germy, and then they pass it on, and then it's just like a vicious cycle. So, thanks a lot, kids. <laughs> Anyways, um, oh, I am like so lazy. I am so seriously sitting here being like, all right, I'm stuffy, my chest, like, it's kind of hard to breathe, and it's like, it hurts, so, those are my excuses that I am going to just say that I'm better than that, that didn't even make sense, so those are my excuses, however, I could make a million excuses, and that excuses, and those excuses are not going to get me where I want to be. So in order to get big like a beast, I need to beast it. So today is, well it's Thursday, but it's Friday in my T25 world, and Fridays in T25 world means doubles, so today will be Total body circuit and ab interval. And then with beast, I'm going to do beast legs. I think it's the build leg one. I didn't actually check. Um, but regardless, it's a leg day. And you know what they say. Friends don't let friends skip leg day. So I won't be missing that. And yeah, day 19 of whole 30. Oh, I'm so sore. Um going really good. Um, I've improved a lot on like fruit. I used to eat like a lot more fruit with this program so I've been trying to eat a lot of vegetables and one thing that I do know that I need to work on is my water intake because I haven't been drinking enough water and I can just really feel the difference. I mean it just really makes a big difference. So I need to start drinking my water regularly. And yeah, that's really about it. I mean, other than that, I'm honestly really proud of my progress so far. I have stayed on track for 19 days. I mean, the bloat is going away. I can start to see definition. And it's probably very, very, very hard to see in like on the camera and everything or maybe I just see it more but like even just like little things like little little muscles or like little I guess that's probably what they are as muscles that I've never really seen before are kind of starting to take shape and form and that is so exciting when you start to see results for me anyways like that's all it takes it's like okay I'm on the right track I'm on to something and I need to keep on this track so, so for, yeah, and again, what works for me, I am not saying that that's going to work for you. It is seriously like trial and error. You need to try a whole bunch of things. Like I know a lot of people who have had great success with eating five or six small meals a day and that's what they do. They do portion control and like they've had a lot of great success with that. I started that way. You know, I, I did that, um, oh, I cut out fast foods for, like, little things, you know, granola bars or yogurts or things that I thought were healthy, and then, you know, once I started to learn more, then it was like, okay, now just, like, don't focus on just calories, maybe turn around and read the ingredients list, see what you're actually putting into your body. Don't just grab it because it says half the fat or it's light. Because what does that even mean? Like, really? So, now, for example, when I go to the store, I mean, I don't usually eat most of that stuff, but if I'm grabbing something and it's like, low in fat, you know, low sodium, low that, no. I get the regular version, because you start getting into that, that's when they're taking out shit to put other stuff in, and it is just like a chemical shitstorm, pretty much. So, 
So yeah, I mean, whatever you do on your journey to get you where you need to be to find out what makes that scale go down, or maybe the scale stays the same, but the pants get looser, that's great. I mean, there is no right or wrong way to do this. It's just to realize that, you know, we have a goal that we want to reach, whether it's to lose weight or be healthy or to get fit or whatever it is. I honestly hope that it is a little bit of all of those things because I don't like it when people, and if you want to just do it, that's fine, but this should be a lifestyle. I hope that you decide to do this and you decide to do this for life, not because you feel like you have to be a certain weight to fit in, but just because you love yourself, you love your family, and you just want to be healthy. So health should be the main the main goal in all of this. I just want everybody to be so healthy and so happy. So yeah, that's that's just what I have to say. I know that anybody can do this because months ago I was sitting here in this very room in this corner where this tree is because that's where I used to breastfeed my daughter and I used to think like ah, what am I going to do? How am I going to fix this? And to think the answer is eating good and exercise. I didn't really want to hear that a few months ago. <laughs> it's like so you're telling me I can't just sit on my ass and eat like shit and look good? It was so disappointing. Huh. <sighs> But, I mean, you gotta sweat it to get it. They call it working out for a reason. And if it was easy, everybody would do it. So, sometimes, to get the things that we want the most, we need to put a little bit of work into it. But I definitely, definitely guarantee you that it is so gonna be worth it. And maybe if you don't like exercise now, maybe if that's like an evil word, get on track, make it a habit. A few months from now, you are going to love it and you're going to be like, come on, I just want to work out. Or maybe you'll hate it forever. That, that could happen too. But it's going to do great things for your body. And if you make me your coach by going on to www.teambeachbody.com slash sweat it to get it. Write me, we can chat about goals, and we can accomplish some crazy, 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 awesome things. So without further ado, I bring to you 